Welcome back. We have another corporate joining us now, this time from the tech sector. Datamatics is on our radar on the back of the third quarter earnings. Now, the company saw a revenue growth of almost 8.5% on a sequential basis, while margins improved 80 basis points. To discuss this quarter and the outlook, we're joined by the Vice Chairman and CEO of Datamatics, Rahul Kanodia. Uh, Rahul, good morning and thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, can you tell us, you know, for the nine months of this year, you've actually outperformed your own guidance. You've done about 17.5% revenue growth and you had guided for about 15%. Uh, so what has led to it? And by the end, of, by the full year, what do you expect? And even in FY24, what could the growth rates look like? Uh, so for the balance of the year, we'll expect to maintain the 17.5%. Uh, in terms of what led to it, uh, it's a combination of multiple things. Uh, we did have some price negotiations with many customers. Uh, that contributed it. Partly the exchange rate contributed to it as well. And partly uh, operational efficiencies and cost controls. So it's a combination of all these things coming together. Mm. Next year looks uh, fairly robust. Uh, we are not seeing a slowdown in the market. We're not seeing a slowdown in deal flows. Uh, so therefore, I think next year should be equally healthy. Equally healthy. FI24, similar to FI23 then? Growth rates? Uh, it should be in the same range. Same. Unless something happens. Then... All right. Uh, so based on your current visibility, FI24 revenue growth rate should also be close to 15%, right? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us what led to the margin improvement of 80 basis points quarter on quarter? And 15.8, is that the base margin from here on? Yeah, that is certainly for this year the base margin. Uh, it probably might even improve a little more than where it is. Uh, in terms of uh, what led to it, as I mentioned, it's a mixture of uh, price negotiations, the exchange rate, as well as operational efficiency, all of them coming together. And of course, a few new, new deals that we've got. We've signed up about 13 new customers in this one quarter. Okay, Mr. Kanodia, good morning and thanks for joining us. Just for your digital operations business, the margin has declined over there to around 19 and a half uh, from the earlier almost 23 that you had. I think you're also guided for around 23 to 25. So can you tell us what went wrong over there? Nothing wrong. Uh, we have a little element of cyclicality in our business. Q4 tends to spike, Q3 we ramp up headcount in anticipation for the business in Q4. So because of the ramp up in headcount and no commensurate revenue, mm. you see a dip in the margin, but that's that's part of the normal cycle. So in Q4, it should be back at that level, around 23 to 25? That's correct. Okay. okay. Uh, there is a, a price hike that has come through on about at about 5 to 6%. Uh, have you been able to renegotiate the price hikes? I mean, last time you had indicated to us that, you know, there may not be too much scope, but uh, can you tell us what the way forward is? Uh, yeah, we have been able to renegotiate prices across the board with several customers, not all customers. And of course, there's a range anywhere from 2, 3, 4, 5 percent to as much as 20 percent, depending on the projects that we're doing. Um, so by and large, we've received fairly decent price hikes because, of course, all customers understood the current challenges and the economic situation that we're having. So, you know, hyperinflation around the world, hmm. uh, lack of availability of people, salary hikes, things like that. So okay. they're all in the same boat and therefore they were cognizant of that. So will you be able to take more price hikes in uh, the coming quarters? Not in the coming quarter, perhaps some in the next year, but not in not for the balance of this year. What percentage of your portfolio is covered with the improved pricing ranging from 5 to 20 percent? Uh, that is very difficult. I've not done that math, so I would not have that number. Okay, but price hikes would be selective or is it more broad-based? Just give us an some broad indication 30% of your portfolio is covered or is it more than 50%? Uh, it is broad based and I would say it's a uh, little over 50%. Okay. Okay, Mr. Kanodia, just one final question. We've been talking to a lot of tech companies um, and you know the a lot of them have been talking to us about the furloughs. Can you tell us what you have seen in Q3 and uh, where do you really see this going? Do you, are you seeing any kinds of signs of slowdown right now? So as I said, we're not seeing any signs of slowdown. Uh, we're seeing business as usual. Uh, furloughs not in India. We're seeing them more in the U.S. Uh, but I think those are these overhyped companies. Some of them, of course, are very good companies, but nevertheless overhyped. I think it's that segment that you're seeing that you don't see that in the core industries. So on digital tech, uh, your margins were negative in Q2. You 
turned it around in Q3. Q3 margins in digital tech, if those graphics come up, is currently at yeah. 2%. I remember last yeah. time you told us that margins for this segment will be in mid-single digits, in FI24. Do you hold on to that guidance? That's correct. We still have another quarter to go, and we expect that 2.2% uh, to go up a little more. And therefore, the whole year, we should certainly break even, but it will be in the mid-single digits by the year end. So mid-single digits for FI23 and FI24 uh, margins for, they, yeah. They will improve. 24 will improve even further. We're taking several steps to improve that. All right. Uh, we will leave it at that, Mr. Kanodia. Thank you very much for joining us and taking us through the outlook for Datamatics. That is the management telling us that they're not seeing any kinds of slowdown right now. FI24, in fact, should look as good as we saw in FI23. The margins also, um, you know, perhaps there was a little bit of a dip right now on account of seasonality. But in, ne in the next quarter, that is in Q4, it should be back to their range of around 23 to 25 percent. So that is the management. We are going to get into a short break now. But as we do that, here's some important information for our viewers. Don't miss out on the top 19 must-have stocks for 2023 subscribe to money control pro for the